Hi, it's Pavel with the C-Sharp homework from the book uh, C-Sharp 2012 How to Program. Chapter 6, exercise 20. We are, doing to, we are going to do a little math here, calculating the value of pi. And we're supposed to calculate the value of pi from the infinite series, but we'll do it manually by utilizing this uh, formula. This is how you calculate pi. So this is uh, what we have to, uh, this is the calculation, but it keeps going and going. So in other words, we'll need to do some looping here. Uh, they're, they're asking us uh, how many terms of this series do you have to use before you first get 314, uh, 3141, 31415, and so forth. But um, the question here is, how do you go into loop through this and keep adding the value of this to our pi. Now, you have to look for some patterns here. And the pattern here is you alternate. You alternate minus, plus, minus, plus. All right? Keep that in mind because that, that obviously is very important. Another thing to notice is the number four is prevalent. You start with four minus four thirds plus four fifths minus four sevenths plus four ninths minus four elevenths. Then over here it would be plus four thirteen. Over here it would be uh, minus four fifteenths and so forth. So the number four stays the same. That does not change. What does change, we start with number three, four thirds, but then we go four divided by fifth. 4, 7, 4, 9. In other words, it increases uh, by 2. So, we need to alternate uh, for these values. All right, so, um, yeah, let's get, let's get to do that. And uh, I'm going to do uh, declare a few variables now. Now, since we are going to use some loop, uh, I'm going to initialize i uh, as an index, so integer i, that's going to be integer i, will be our kind of like a counter. Now, the whole formula starts with 4, that's the whole number 4, that's the only one. So I'm going to capture that and assign it to pi right away I will assume pi equals 4 and then I will be adding the fractions to it one iteration at a time so I will start with pi in, uh, not, it's going to be a double pi equals 4 again the reason I'm doing that I don't have to account for this number 4 anymore it is already assigned to, uh, to my pi as a total so now, I, well, next, uh, when I go to the loop, I will assign minus four thirds to it. Four is already there, so it will be actually this. Then next time, it will be, I will assign four fifths to it, to the result of this, you know, and so forth. So uh, let's do the while loop. So while, uh, now they, they don't really specify how many times you're going to loop. They're asking us how, uh, how many times we need to loop to get this uh, number. So I will start with uh, 100. So until i and uh, we start from the from the end. Uh, let me see here. So if i See how this, uh, in other words, what I mean by 100, it's not going to be 100 iterations. It would be this 100. In other words, our last number would be 400. This is the one that I'm looking for. It starts with 3, and it ends with 100, and it increases by 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. So our i equals 3. Again, it's this 3. And then I will need 5 and 7 and so forth until I hit 100. So while i is less 
or equal to 100. Like I said, we will be playing with this uh, to finding out uh, how many iterations we need to get these values. But let's start with 100. Uh, okay, so we have that. So there's no space here. So this is our denominator. Right, this is nominator and this is denominator, if I have it correct. Uh, so if our denominator equals 100, we'll exit the loop. And now we have to alternate. We have to alternate minus, plus, minus, plus, and keep increasing 3, 5, 7, so by 2. The denominator is increased by 2. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to use mod. If, uh, and the mod will be, okay, we will use another, uh, another integer. And we will, I'll, I'll just call it a uh, mod. And, uh, nah, that's not a good name. I'll just call it C, whatever. <laughs> and it equals uh, zero. Uh, let me think. If I start with zero, no, our C will equal, it will start with three. It will equal I at the beginning. And the reason for that is because that will, uh, our C will have to be increased by two after, I mean, uh, the C will have to be increased by one after each, uh, after each uh, if statement. Uh, let, let me show you, let's then explain. So if C mod two not equals zero, in other words, if this is odd uh, iteration, then our pi is uh, minus, remember, our odd, our first one is minus, our second one is plus, third one is minus, so we will deduct, so it's minus, and what is it? Uh, it is the 4, remember they all have 4, Denominator is always 4 divided by i. The i is the denominator. In order, so uh, we will increase C++ uh, after this. And now we will do the same uh, for, the, for the even number. So else our pi, this time we'll be adding plus, so plus equals 4 divided by i. This is the fraction, 4, 4 thirds, 4 fifths, 4 sevenths, 4 ninths, and so forth. So, let me do it again. Our pi equals 4, right from the bat. We have it right here. So we don't have to account for this 4 anymore. But we start with negative. So if i, uh, i equals 3, which is this 3, the denominator 3, so that's our first loop. So that's, uh, it hits the if statement, it evaluates it to true, it is an odd. So what we'll do, it will add minus 4 thirds. Then it goes back to while loop, uh, which reminds me, <laughs> we need to uh, increase i plus equals 2. Remember 2. We are increasing it by by 2. 3, 5, 7, 9. Our i is the denominator. In fact, you know what? I will rename it just to make sure it is a little clearer. It's not an index uh, per se like we would normally use like a counter but it is the value of the, of the fraction, or the denominator of the fraction, while the denominator is always 4. So that's why we have 4 here, and 4 here, divided by denominator. And the only difference is that we alternate minus, over here minus, and over here plus. And then, at the end, we will increase the denominator by 2. Uh, because again, three, five, seven, nine. So it goes over here, 
the second time it comes over here uh, are uh, wait a minute our denominator is uh, our, our denominator is five now because we increased it by two three plus two is five it comes over here our C remember we increased it here now equals two we start uh, I mean I mean four we started with three actually over here I did some error I will simply start with three like that so it's easier to understand uh, so now it equals four which is uh, an even number so we'll go to plus and we'll do pi plus plus four and denominator is now five so again our denominator is seven our c is uh, five so it goes over here it's an odd five is odd number so we got it goes minus four right here and denominator seven and so forth and over here i forgot to increase my c plus plus as well we have to increase c with each loop because that's what we check whether it's it's a uh, even or odd iteration of the while loop uh, i hope i didn't confuse you even more than you already were <laughs> all right well after the while loop uh well, not after, but still within the loop, we will uh, write the output. So console dot uh, write line, and we will output our pi. And uh, I need to do a console dot read line to pause the uh, output. All right, so we alternate. This is our fraction for time. The only thing that changes the minus and plus that alternates and denominator which increases by two with each iteration so let's run it let's see what we get oh we got a lot of threes everything is three so we start with three so four divided by three well we start with uh pi equals four Okay, here. Uh, it it keeps it as an integer. So what we'll what, what I'm going to do is, uh, in order to get the result uh, as a double with the you know decimal places, I will convert this four to a double. And the same over here. It's still four, but now it's like four point zero. In our, and it will keep the result of the of the division in a in a decimal rather than just the uh, integer part of it i think let's see <laughs> yeah yeah there we go there we uh so we start with 266 because uh, remember we are uh, adding it with each loop we are adding one more fraction to the we start with uh, with four minus four thirds, then f all of this, and all of this, all of this, and so forth. And we keep increasing that, so the uh, precision should increase as well. So it doesn't seem to be exactly the case. It kind of, you know, it jumps like three eleven, three sixteen, eleven sixteen, and so forth. And that is uh, that is because uh, yeah when when you do the subtraction with each of them it goes down and then of course with each uh, addition uh, it goes up a little that's why it seems like it's fluctuating but if you look at the the precision of the like the let's say of odd numbers two six six two eight nine 297, 301, 304, 305, 307, 3079, and so forth. So it actually increases, and the same for our even numbers. 
three, uh, you start with 3.46, then uh, uh, 33, 28, uh, 0, 04, 0, 05. Uh, so maybe it's not exactly, uh, am I going in right? Uh, 46, 33, 28, 25, 23, 21, 20, and another 20, uh, 0, 08, and so forth. So it does. Uh, actually go but we didn't get a 3.14 uh, did we uh, let me see 3.16 okay so let's do uh, let's let's say 200 of these and we are getting closer 3.13 uh, all right, let's do, you know what? Let's do thousand of them. Let's see how that is going to do. There you go. And, uh, and we did get 314, 314. So it, with each iteration, it does increase the precision, which is obviously the, the base of uh, pi is 314, 3.14. So if you start, uh, this is not thousand of them. My my console I think only takes three hundred lines. So this is the last three hundred lines from seven hundred to thousand to one thousand. And uh, yeah, but it's working. You can set, tell that the uh, precision is increasing. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, in fact. Since we start with minus and plus, let's only display. Let's only display when the, when it's actual like the complete minus and plus. That would be like one iteration for for our display. That that will be uh, more uh, visible how those numbers progress. Mm. So we start with three forty six. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a uh, one thousand. Iteration, so let's make it only 100 so they all fit. So we start with 346, 33, 28, 25, 23, and it, it goes down and down. And if you if you if you do more, let's say those thousand, then you will go do you will get 314, 3.14. See, so it definitely is uh, working. See, like when I have it, when I have this display uh, after each of these, whether it's minus or plus, then it seems like it's fluctuating. But if I have it displayed only with one of them, then you can see that those uh, numbers are in fact uh, getting more and more precision. Uh, the precision of the number is getting more and more as we keep adding additional fractions to it. All right, so uh, that's working. Again, might be a little confusing, you know, the alternation and all that. But I hope it helps you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.